potential energy. Okay, what is the potential energy? We'll see. Okay, potential energy. Okay, what is the definition of potential energy? There are many examples we can give the potential energy. Mm. Okay, first we will see the potential energy. So, potential energy, the energy possessed by the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position or state is called What is the potential energy de definition? The energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position or state is called potential energy. In general, we are denoting the potential energy P dot E. So, what is the formula of potential energy? MGH. This is the formula. Okay. Next, now we are going to derive the potential energy formula. Proof. Okay, how we can derive the potential energy? So, for that, what I am doing? So, let us consider a small, uh, let us consider mass M. Let, let us consider mass M. Okay, it is initially at, it was uh, initially uh, in the ground. So, now, now, now I am going to draw the diagram here. See, see, see this is a ground. This is the mass. Okay, this mass has weight. How much is there? M is there. W, how much we can add? Gravitational. M, G. You know very well already. So, why? Because that is only. Okay. So, now I consider the mass. It is lying on the ground. The weight is equal to total um, W is equal to M, G. Weight is equal to the weight, weight total. W is equal to M, G. So, now, what I am doing now, simply I am lifting that mass. So, supposed to be here. No. Now, I am lifting this mass. Oh. Now, I am lifting the mass. So, supposed to be on the ground. What happened? The place is changed. Is or not? That is, I have taken here H. So, how it went like this from ground to certain distance H? Okay, from this place to this place, how it went? Okay, as soon as I said it went on? No. How it went? See, if you apply some force on this black, uh, mass against to the gravitational force, then it went and it will be there. So, ne next, work done work is equal what is the formula force the dot product of force into height the dot product of force force and height okay what we can write w is equal to force f dot or capital F also you can write dot height okay from already we know about that dot product uh, from the vector a dot b is equal what we can write a b cos theta next what happened here w is equal to f h uh, what you can write cos theta all of you understood in case is there an angle in between? No, there is no angle. Theta is equal to how much? Zero. Then W is equal to what happened? FH. Cos 90 degrees. Cos 90 how much? 1.
1. But we know that according to Newton's law, what is the force? W is equal to um, force M A H is there. But here A is equal to how much is there? G. Why you are considering here G means uh, it is uh, pulling to the ground. So M G H. So finally you got what you got here? Uh, w is equal to M G H. Okay. How much you have done work here? It is stored in the form of energy. The stored energy. Stored energy in the form of potential energy. The then W is equal to what are you getting? MGH. Then W is equal to how much are you getting? P E. Okay, this is the potential energy. Okay, in the exam you may get question like this. Okay, derive the equation for potential energy or derive the equation freely falling body to that potential energy. Okay, like that we can derive the equation for potential energy. What is the formula of potential energy? W is equal to P E or then is equal to how much is there? MGH. Like that we can derive that equation. Okay, next now we are going to discuss about the, the relation between next the relation between momentum and kinetic energy where two marks important or one mark the relation between P and KE. Okay, what is the P stands here? Uh, put a P momentum. Okay, what is the formula for momentum? P is equal to MV equation number one. Next, KE one by two MV square equation number two. Okay, what is the relation between P and KE? So, KE keep as it is one by two m v square okay now i am multiplying and dividing with m here also m here also m m upon by m so what happen 1 by 2 m square v square by 2 m so from equation number 1 what we can write p is equal to m v p square is equal to how much m square v square okay can i write here 1 by 2 m p square and then what happened p square by 2 m okay this known as the relation between potential energy and next moment okay what is that ke is equal to p square by 2 m or what we can write ke is equal to 1 by 2 p square by m also we can write both are same this is the relation between um, momentum and kinetic energy 